just fielded so many kickoffs. They've given up a lot of points. Defense has surrendered a lot of points, but uh, Dennis has done a great job and probably expect him to get the three yards here. Or he is not. a dangerous return man, and he will take a knee in the end zone. Arkansas has never seen a passer of his caliber. Broderick Green has plenty of real estate to roam on the outside. He's finally knocked out of bounds by Cameron. Very, very good. SEC caliber. Mallet with plenty of time and another first down. This one on the outside to Reggie Fish. Showing blitz, Bear Woods was right there and he got blocked and that'll go for another first down. Michael Smith carries it for 10 yards over the left side. Ryan Mallet looks it over. Great vision, great height to see over that defensive line. Over the middle. Touchdown, Joe Adams. No safety in the middle. Adams does a good job of finding that soft spot in the zone and great throw by Ryan Mallet to zing it in. Southwood gets tripped up around the ankles by Matt Harris. Loses two. Going back to Levi Brown, you mentioned. Underneath goes nowhere. Jericho Nelson was right there. These guys have been there before. Now they just want to try to finish. Levi Brown looking deep. Dangerous pass and the streak is over. The Hogs pick him off. Matt Harris. As Chris has described, Mallet is an expert at the play action fake. Beautiful pass on the outside to Greg Child. 11th in the conference this year at only 33%. That's a first down. That's inside the five-yard line, Joe Adams. 11th play of the drive coming up. Did Green get in? Yes, he did. That's a touchdown. Wide open. Carlton Salters gets it up to the 44 yard line. But certainly not complaining. He's still a big part of this offense. Ronnie Wingo rambles over the left side for a first down and a pickup of 13. We'll set the new Arkansas record. Wide open. It just doesn't get any more open than DJ Williams was on that play. 22 yards. An INT breaking Clint Sterner's school record. Wingo over the right side showing a burst and a touchdown. But one thing I thought was interesting as we talked to, to Paul Petrino, the offensive coordinator, the strength of this Arkansas or Troy defense rather is their front, the defensive board. They want to run right talented receivers in the country. Levi Brown throws his second interception. That was deflected. Jerry Franklin was right there. Here comes pressure. Malik saw it. Joe Adams. His mom is what a good job they've done raising him on, on her own. Mallet, another beautiful fake. Sets up the strike to Greg Child. Terrific fake, Chris, and what a beautiful spiral. Again, he throws. on the run, he's not a, a not a lot of quarterbacks are not throw. You see, there's no safety on the backside. The receiver was expecting the ball to flatten him out, and Ryan Mallet kept it high. That one right there is on Ryan himself. Still 16 seconds, and Troy has one timeout. Situation. Levi Brown's got to release this in a hurry. Time has expired as he launches it down near the goal line. And it's picked off. Jerrell Norton wasn't. The boos are raining down to Razorback Stadium. Maurice Greer gets tackled. They, he realizes how grateful he is to not only be out there playing football, but just to be alive. Mallet sees the blitz, stands in there, and delivers another strike to Jarius Wright. He is putting on a show tonight. 36 yards. Back 
Taking their tail back. He's now alternating with Green. Every other play. Play fake has everybody going left. DJ Williams rumbles into the end zone. Caught Troy bringing some pressure. They move the pocket outside. DJ Williams wide open on the crossing route. Again, the effectiveness of the play to find Williams for the first down. Uh-oh, Jernigan in the Wildcat with a careless option toss. That's down in 17, Levi Brown back in at quarterback. Canarius right. Third and 28. Just dumped it off to Dewan Harris and Jericho Nelson. Who's going to play in Florida at the Citrus Bowl? Who's going to go to the Cotton Bowl? Arkansas back to the ground, a broken tackle. Dennis Johnson with a huge run. At all positions, Dennis Johnson's the fifth ball carrier we've seen from the tailback position. He has confidence in all of these guys. And Johnson certainly showed why Petrino should have confidence in appointments, which is a no-no. Another completed pass. This time to Ben Cleveland is up off the line of scrimmage. Back to Dennis Johnson. Showing a burst to the outside. Ooh. Took a pretty good lick by Boris Lee. Delivered a pretty good lick to Boris Lee. Like Mallet changed that play. Found the coverage he liked to the outside, and it's a touchdown. Jarius Wright in the backside on Jarius Wright. Audibles to the slant. Number one in turnover margin in the SEC. One of the toughest things about being a ball carrier and getting stood up is you know the rest of the team's coming. First guy holds you up, second guy. Looks like he's feeling a lot better. Had a leg injury. Mallet, add to his stats, yards after the catch, running Wingo, what a run, 83 yards. That play's gonna count for a lot of passing yards for Ryan Mallett, but really a good play call by Paul Petrino. And Ronnie Wingo does the rest going in untouched. Very effective in both phases. Another play action fake looking for the tight end then sees a wide open Lucas Miller. Rifles another pass to another wide open receiver, Kobe Hamilton. 15 more yards gives Mallet 405 yards tonight. Back in the receivers. Back to the ground game. Davis tippy toes into the end zone. 